there is no such thing as 50-50, meaning you will go 50% if the other person goes 50%. That is not going to happen. You do whatever you have to do to make things right, to bring peace. Even if the other person is not doing as much as you, you still have to do what you have to do. Sometimes you may have to do 100%. Sometimes you may only have to do 20%. But you do whatever you have to do to get things done. Yes, things may not always be fair. But let me say this, you are going to reap whatever you sow. So when you do good, more good things are coming coming toward your way. When you do bad, more bad things are coming toward your way. So in the end, whatever you do, even at that particular time, if things don't equal out, in the end, it is going to equal out because God is going to repay you for what you have done. So get out of your mind this 50-50 paradigm. It doesn't make any sense. It is never going to happen. Never. Whether you are married or any or in any type of relationship, 50-50 is never going to happen. Think about that. Somewhere, someone is going to do more than other people. And that is not a bad thing. Think more about people than yourself. I am not saying that you have to give everything that you own to people. I am not saying that you have to work all day long for people and not do anything for yourself. I am not saying that. But what I am trying to say is think more for people than yourself. The more that you can be a pincushion, meaning, I don't want to use the word doormat, but <laughs> the less that you get offended, the less that you think for yourself or think about yourself, the better life is going to be for you. Because when you think to yourself, hey, my wants and my needs come last, but me helping other people, that comes first. When you get that way, and like I said before, I am not saying that you have to every day, all day, do things for people. I am not saying that. But when you get to the point when or where you think about people before you think for yourself, you are on your way and surely you are going to elevate a lot more in God. The more that you elevate, the easier life is going to be for you. And the closer you get to God, you really going to see things in a much more clear way. Life is going to make more sense to you. Does that make any sense? So you may have so many questions right now about life. The closer you get to God, the more those questions are going to be answered. Does that make any sense? Because all information comes from God. So if you stray away from God, the more that you are going to be in ignorance. The closer you get to God, the more things that you are going to learn. Because everything comes from God. All information, everything. So really think about that. Really take heed to that. So life is not going to be fair as in things. You may have to pay more than other people. You may have to do more than other people. Everything in life, you may have to do a lot more than other people. So be it. Because in the end, it is all going to pay off. Don't be selfish. 
Think more for people than yourself. When you get that mentality, I'm telling you, life is going to be a lot more easier for you. When you are selfish and stingy and stuff like that, life is going to be so hard for you, even more hard for you. You are not going to have any type of peace, no peace. Look at people who are very selfish, only think about themselves. Their life is not that good. Yes, they may have money and stuff like that, but their life is not that good. They don't have any peace. And what is the point of having so many cars and so much money and so many possessions and stuff like that when you don't have peace? And that is only one thing. So really take heed to this nothing is ever going to be 50 50 nothing if you believe in 50 50 more than likely you are that selfish person and you need to change okay god bless